about six months passed since I finished this build and I would like to make some improvement to it. One of the challenges I encountered originally was the tubing around. And this mainly attributed to the fact that I cooled everything from CPU to chipset to cards and uh, have a lot of connections which was very close to each other and um, it was almost impossible to make a direct runs because um, tubes simply kinked. So I have to work out and make quite complicated tubing runs, which is I don't like at this point. So what I'd like to do to see if I can clean this up. To improve my tubing issue, I would like to use those 45 degree adapters. And I will combine them with other angled fittings so or maybe barbs and uh, or just add them together to make smooth 90 degree turns which wouldn't kill the flow unlike 90 degree uh, fittings which make a sharp turn so um, the few areas on my rig that I'm particularly don't like one of them here in the GPU area I even have to cut this fan to make sure that my tubing will go through the system uh, without bending but still as you see it's a little bit bent here so I don't like this and uh, one of the ideas I have I would like to use this combination of 45 degree compression fitting and adapter and see if I can run tube just parallel to the to the fan area and the same is here so I can do something like this make another 90 degree turn which is smooth no danger of kinking so I have a straight line here also this area is really cluttered and I add this most um, part that I really hate at this point so I see if I can um, use those um, 90 degree turns uh, to connect uh, MOSFET blocks with um, CPU block and uh, chipset block and even with a, with a card so that was my plan I will have to play a little bit with the parts and see if this work out or not but um, again this is my options it's either few adapters together or adapter with a fitting or um, if compression fitting wouldn't work I, I see if I can use uh, uh, barbs uh, and um, we'll see so I need to disassemble remove all tubing and uh, we'll come back when um, we'll come up Let's with have some a look solution. on the progress of my attempt to reroute tubing so it's look much nicer so I did a small modification of bottom part so far two points connection from radiator I have this 45 degree fitting connected directly here and after that I have a wavy um, tubing like this uh, going from radiator to the video card to this point so what I did I added two 45 degree angled adapters to this fitting so what I do I can go away and go not above the fans and I go on the side of the pans and go straight direct line to my video card and the video card side it's the same story I added two 45 degree adapters and the same 45 degree fittings that I had and again I went away from my airflow area and I have direct line between these two fittings so I have a, have a nice tube run without any bend and it will look much nicer another thing that I'd like to do I'd like to change tubing color because this is the cheapest modification you can do and I decided to go with the yellow this time you see this yellow tube but it has a green UV property so when I will add it to my loop you see this yellow tubing became acid green so it's slightly different um, hue from the tube I had this is more greenish and this more yellowish um, but small modification it look nicer so I decided to go with that and replace tubing all over the place it's it's the cheapest mod you can do and uh, make a fresher look for your Let's computer. Let's have a look at the CPU area. My original objective was trying to make a sequential loop going from MOSFET to MOSFET to CPU to chipset and from chipset to uh, graphical card. Why I wanted to do that? Because when you drain system which is cross-connected, uh, difficult to drain it and you have a liquid um, 
trapped in blocks, so it uh, created additional problems. And I was, uh, while working on a computer, I have to deal with also additional spillage, which is wasn't a uh, very nice thing to do. So, um, unfortunately, the distance is still too short, and even with all connectors, I wasn't able to do a uh, sequential connection as I hoped. Um, to achieve today, but um, basically what I did, I still improved my um, linkage quite a bit because I added those 45 degree adapters to each 45 degree compression fitting, so I got nice smooth 90 degree turn. So instead of round tubing, I will have a direct tube, tube runs, which is short, so it is much leaner, um, have good performance, and um, will look much better than I had before. So. Um, I will connect tubing, connect uh, GPUs, and come back with uh, uh, final assembly. Hopefully, unless I experience more problems. Final assembly before the leaking test. As you see in the CPU area, I have a quite short runs right now, only three tubing. Also, feed-in tube. I decide to make it a long run, and but hide it behind. Um, and. Uh, Usually it's um, feeding tube going across the motherboard and uh, I don't like it anymore so I decided to go um, give extra inch but go behind the reservoir and uh, connect to, to the pump so it's not really visible as you can see it goes like this behind rears and connect to the pump and um, the rest is a uh, similar to what I had before, this tube I didn't change, uh, feeding from reservoir, uh, sorry, from radiator to the reservoir, and uh, here I have a straight line tube uh, from GPU to my um, radiator, I'm not sure if it's actually look uh, as good as I hope, mm, maybe later I will put uh, inline uh, coolant's uh, flow meter here, which is straight type as well. So um, that's pretty much what I have before my leak test. Uh, lots of problem areas, not problem areas, but um, this this connection in the CPU area when I have uh, lots of uh, adapters connected together. Uh, this is what I might expect to get some leaking. Um, other than that, it should be okay, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll start um, filling the water and uh, check it out what's going on.